This painting is called The Comforter. What's going on here, Justin? It's a very intense image and very pro provocative. Um, I feel that it, it, you know, it would definitely speak to Israelis um, directly, especially people from Tel Aviv. It's actually from a, a street view image that I took from Tel Aviv um, of Kugel in the streets and it was inspired by a post that I saw of a friend in Israel who had captured a picture of an IDF soldier sheltering a man and his child during uh, the bomb sirens going off when rockets were fired from Gaza. And I could see that obviously when things happen in Israel they're very intense that no one wants to be in that predicament and they're all looking for comfort, they're looking for hope. And, you know, I know that Messiah is the hope of Israel. You know, he is God made flesh. He, he is the ultimate hope of the nations. And so, in this picture, I decided to paint a young Jewish Orthodox boy with a young Islamic Muslim girl. You know, they've been playing in the streets, just doing what children do normally. And then obviously when the sirens go off, they they dropped what they were doing and they ran to safety, but the, the, the safety point is the Messiah. And he joins the Jew and the Gentile together, uh, and he is the only valid protection of the people of Israel. You know, from a, from a, a kingdom of God perspective, it's what everyone's looking for. So it's a very striking image, and then of course, in the street, you have images all over the walls. You have, you know, Schneerson, which is a considered uh, Messiah by ultra-Orthodox communities. I mean, even though he did, doesn't fit the biblical description of ever living in Israel or being born uh, in Bethlehem. You have Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot, who has risen to global fame through her, um, you know, being cast as Wonder Woman. And I felt it also very symbolic of the, uh, the call of the Jewish Messianic bride of, of Messiah. That at the moment God is really looking towards Israel and he's doing a marvelous work over the, over the nation. So it's kind of symbolic of, of her. Uh, and she's very powerful, very strong, and not to be reckoned with. And then also the Green Prince, which is um, the famous son of Hamas, who uh, you know served in secret for uh, the Israel you know, army for a while, the defense force, um, undercover. And then of course the the whole wall is covered in what would look like graffiti, but they're all actual uh, messianic prophecies about the Messiah. In other words, the writing's on the wall. It's clear in plain day. You consider it to be something offensive like graffiti, but it's actually uh, the message of salvation. And then you have the dove with the olive branch up top, which is the validation of um, the Holy Spirit. And so the whole image is very, very pro provocative to thought. It's provocative to ideologies of um, people's perception of who Messiah is, who God is, what the promises are. And then it just nuts down to one thing. Who's there for you? Who can you run to when the sirens genuinely go off? So it's a very challenging image and a lot of people are very attracted to it when they see it. Um, and of course, it's also my prayer. It's my hope that Israel will come to know the Messiah and know that he is there for them. And, you know, they can lift up their eyes you know, Psalm 1, Psalm 121, they can, they can lift up their eyes to the God of hope and they can run to him very tangibly and he will be their comforter.